a question received from Malaysia about the hijama. Some scholars say by doing a cupping it breaks your fast and some scholars say it does not break your fast. Uh, cupping is something that you remove your some blood out of your body and uh, we do have the evidence of that from the Sahih Hadith where the, the Prophet وسلم, said the one who is being cupped and the one who is doing a cupping they, they both break their fasting so this evidence is considered as Sahih from many, by many scholars by the person who is doing cupped and the one who is doing cupping uh, his fasting is no more valid he can or break his fast and uh, now here is a question what if someone uh, completed his cupping and later on that day before the iftar time he realized that this was something the prophet sallam said uh, it will break your uh, fasting now what would uh, his fasting will consider as uh, this person's fasting is valid and uh, there's a many opinions that the scholars said uh, if a person makes a mistake he can complete his day of the the fasting but he can make up additional one fast after the Ramadan. Consider this to be the correct view of many scholars because if somebody is doing by mistakenly, he did cupping and went for hijama, but later after a few hours or in the same day, he realized that uh, whatever was he's doing, he is being, uh, it was being uh, uh, told by the Prophet Sallallahu that uh, the fasting is not valid. So this person's fasting will stay valid because he wasn't aware of that. So he has to complete his fasting and this is suggested to him that uh, it is recommended to him that he has to uh, make up additional fasting after Ramadan. So he won't feel guilty that will uh, cover up because the, the person who is did the mistake he is not supposed to feel guilty because it is not his near and it has happened in unintentionally